And there it is. The DeWalt 20 volt battery operated. But the problem is that I noticed when I YouTubed it, I just ordered something called the tool. I was supposed to also order the battery. So, battery sold separately. I could have got it with a battery and it would have been cheap. So, I'm going to take it back to Home Depot and ask if I can take it back. And then also get one with a battery. Let's see how much was this. Just took this out of the box. The battery and charger. See? There's this chainsaw. And this is how you charge this thing out. I didn't even know. You think you go like that, but no, you got to match these doohickeys in with that doohickey. So you just glide it along here like so. And then here. See that extra quick. And then you plug it in. Okay, I plugged it in. I'm in the garage. And when you first plug it in when it's not charged, it goes that color. And we'll see what color it goes in when it's all charged. Okay, it's time to do the chain sign. Here it is. This is how you get it ready. Um, the first thing you do is make sure the tensions of everything is good, like it's a little bit loose. You have to make sure the chain tension is on the thing properly. So you tighten those, both of those. So they were both kind of loose. Okay, then after that, you flip it over on its other side and you open this and that's where you put the oil. Ooh. Maybe show it, come down and show it. I'll throw an oil in there. Anyway, I just put a little bit in there, so I'm not sure how much to put in, and then I'm closing it. And then what you do is you lift it up like this, and you go over here, and see, I didn't put very much in. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in, and then check it. Wipe it up a bit, turn it over. Whoa, it's full. Didn't seem like it was gonna be full. It's just to the maximum. Okay. Okay, so I've got the battery now. It's all charged up, by the way. Solid red light. I have to take it off this thing somehow. Oh. You press this button and pull it out of there. Then, you somehow put it on here. Oh, see, so you have to make this match those. So you go flip it around like that and then just glide it like so. Okay, so um, here we go. You just take this off, the safety thing off. And then here's also a safety button that's locked. Make sure this is pushed out that way. And then you, this is the trigger right here. But I'm not gonna do anything until I get my safety glasses on and my safety gloves and I don't have any normal safety glasses I just have mountain bike safety glasses so I'm gonna wear these oh they're super baggy this will keep my eyes safe I'll go this way so you guys can see all the buttons so first take the safety off Ooh, isn't it pretty then you um oh one thing to know from here to here that area don't hit anything this top area here because it'll kick back at you and if it kicks back at you this turns it off okay so i was having some difficulties this thing so you pull all the way back like that then you put your hand here then you press this little button here while you press this like this then, the, oh, then you can let go of that Okay, so I'm going to try it. Show this tree. Go into this one. So what I'm going to do is, when you cut a tree down, say this is my tree, you go into it 
like a triangle like that. Are you close enough to see? Like this and like that. If you want it to go that way, and then this side you go straight across and it should go. So I'm gonna go into it there, and then come over here and cut, and it should go that way, okay? All right. Yeah, those trees were super ugly so I just have to do that but I've already done that so far it looks a lot nicer way better I'll just keep on going who says women can't chainsaw I'm super happy with how this looks so far it's brightening it right up now I just have to do the rest of the uglies so as I was sawing I noticed that this was I'm like, huh, just to check it, this got loose. So every once in a while, I guess you got to stop and, and uh, tighten up the chain. That's what I know, so I thought I'd tell you. See how I've done so far. Wow. Yeah, looks good. Looks yeah, I'm good. just about to do that one. Yeah. You want, you want me to watch, film it? Yeah, okay, go. I was saying that I put a, whatever you call it, a cut in that. And then I started going that way, and I think all I have to do now is pull it. There you go. Timber! Just want to make sure it doesn't go into the neighbors, that's why I'm being very careful. The peonies. And I even get rid of. I even remove. See? Getting a better view. Oh yeah. Yeah, come and check out the view now. Come and show I got a better view now. The neighbor lady's like, can I have your card? Cause I need you. I need you to do ours. I'm like, I'm just the neighbor. Like, oh my God, you're Michelle. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, just make sure I tighten this every time. Yep. Um, so what I do is I get rid of these branches, any branches in the way, then I cut into it, then I go on that side and try to make it land over there. To press, the, to press this and this at the same time is really hard. So I just cut it into a cut into it, and then I pull this out. See, so it should go that way. Okay, you can go back there for safety. Put this every time, it's so difficult. I had one tree left to go and the battery died. It's freaking frustrating. So I just plugged it in. But yeah, I just have this one tree. Get all those trees. And I just have that one tree left. And I got it halfway done. Look at it. I put the little cut in it. And it just basically stopped. So I'm just going to let it charge up for 10 minutes so I can finish the job. But yeah, looks so nice so far. And see, I got Leylands back there, so I don't need those ugly lemon cedars. Okay, all done my chain sign. Now, I'm hoping the Leylands I have in the back here will grow. <sighs> that was freaking satisfying. Here's what it looks like from my second story house. I have more of a view. Anyway, that was fun. <laughs>